LGBTQ parents and parents of LGBTQ kids. Do they have parental rights? Every parent, Joy. Them, every parent means every parent has the fundamental right to direct the upbringing of their children. And liberal parents? Do um, liberal parents have those rights as well? All parents. Sure. So, so let, me, let me point you to some statistics. Sure. Because the question becomes then who gets to decide what all kids get to read. The Washington Post took a look at the uh, that, uh, about a thousand plus book challenges that were filed, and they found that they were filed nationwide by just 11 people. Each of these people brought 10 or more challenges against books in their school district. Together, these serial filers constituted 6% of all book challengers, but they were responsible for 60% of filings in Florida. Tampa Bay Times, they found that of uh, roughly 1,100 complaints recorded in Florida since July 2022, we're talking about more than 700 just from two counties. Counties, Escambia in the Western Panhandle and Clay County. Together, those are less than 3% of the public school enrollment, 600 of those complaints, two people. Why should 13 people get to decide what books tens of thousands of children get to read? Well, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably because those 13 people saw what some of the content was in the books. I mean, explicit graphic sexual content and I'm happy to talk about some of that content if you if you'd like to well this is the question again the books that are being banned I want to give you just no some, books hold, are being on, banned. No, hold on a second well no joy Lay but out. I want to be clear uh -huh. no one's banning books write the book print the book publish the book put the book in the public library sell the book right uh, we're talking about a public school library mm -hmm. children don't have unfettered access to the internet at school mm -hmm. I did a, a FOIA a records request and, and, and I wanted to see what kinds of internet sites are banned mm -hmm. in schools so if we're going to talk about banning right mm -hmm. and, and the subject matter in the books that moms are concerned about are the same things that kids don't have access to on the internet so it, it just feels very hypocritical right no why is no one out there protesting for you know free the internet in schools <laughs> let me let me give you an example of some of the books that have been removed from shelves as a result of the activities of organizations like Moms for not, Liberty. Wait, we're not going to talk like hold Moms on. for Liberty. No, no, we're going to no. talk specifically and Moms, Moms for, Liberty. for Liberty. Absolutely. So it's just, America. I'm happy to have this Absolutely. conversation with you, Joel. Absolutely. But we're going to be specific about Absolutely. the actions of Moms for Liberty. Chapters. Oh, 100 percent. Because I can't that. be possibly right. responsible for every sure. single parent but in America. But your organization right? is the lead. You're the leading organization that's doing this. You have chapters all over the country. And other organizations are following your lead. And PEN America has listed, they have posted the list of books that have been removed from shelves as a result of these activities. Let me just read you a couple of them. Anne Frank's A Diary of a Young Girl. Mouse, which is a book about the Holocaust, a graphic novel. Gender Queer, a memoir. All Boys Aren't Blue. Beloved, Martin Luther King Jr. and the March on Washington. Ruby Bridges Goes to School. Slaughterhouse Five, The Color Purple, Forever by Judy Bloom. I could go on. These are books that are not only popular, in some cases are classics. Tony Morrison's The Bluest Eye. Let me give you an example. Well, I'd like, I'd like to answer sure, your question. Please do. Yeah. yeah. So you just mentioned a list of books. And so yeah. Moms for Liberty doesn't have like a national book list. There was mm -hmm. never a list of books that we put out and said, parents, be concerned about these books, right? We didn't do it because mm -hmm. we want our parents to be effective advocates. Mm -hmm. So when moms are going into the libraries and the schools, when they're seeing what their children have access to, when they go to speak to the superintendent or the principal, they have accurate information, right? They're and where are they advocates. getting their information from? You can just go online to a, a catalog in your children's library Correct. and you can see what Without books are available. Without reading the books. What is book, no. what is, one moment, what is booklooks.com? I, I'm aware of a website called booklooks.com where parents can go and see some of the books that other parents are concerned Booklooks about. Booklooks.com has been used in Florida extensively in counties like, I used to live in Broward County, I lived there for 14 years. Okay. In counties like Broward, counties like Clay, counties like Escambia, Moms for Liberty activists are using booklooks.com. And it's essentially a cliff notes for books. Yeah. So you go through without even having to read the book. I'm going to just hold it up so our audience can see what it looks like. This is the one for All Boys Aren't Blue, which is one of the books Moms for Liberty has Everyone pushed Everyone should go and see the content so, in this book. That's such a good and idea. And so what like. happens is you can do keyword searches and find certain keywords. Like rape. You can find key, you, yeah. sure. or anal you, rape or you can, dildo. You can find those, all sorts those of types keywords. Of words. But like, wait, so hold on, the, wait, wait. Let me finish my okay, question. Then great, you can answer. Sure. I'm going to give you time to answer, but I got to okay. ask you first. No, yeah, I got um, the question. And so then. what you find is the keywords that you find, the uh -huh. N word, anything, words like you just used, whether you'll get out of context passages from the book and then based on that, Moms for Liberty members are going to places like Broward County School Board meetings, reading out of pass out of context passages from these books and then demanding that the school board remove them. So what's that the is the way yeah. the, the question I'm asking is, what is the expertise 
that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Aren't Blue, isn't oh. appropriate for students to read? What, what is your expertise? What a tragic story of a young man who's anally raped by his adult family member. So mm -hmm. you have incest, rape, pedophilia. Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm going to answer Please for you. Please do. Um, in what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Just let, I mean, that's my question mm -hmm. to you. Tell me what the context around the strap on dildo or the rape of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, no, no. no. no wait, We're hold. talking about no, no, public no. school. One, one moment. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, and I'm going to answer it. Okay. Well, who is the main character? What's the name of the main character in All Boys Are Blue? You're asking me right now. You just gave name? me very specific information about this book, so you're pre presenting yourself as somebody expert. It's the gentleman. To, um, hold on. The main, to, who's the main character in the, the book? The main character is the author. Who's the, what's his name? George, I believe, is his first because name. Because you're giving me very specific information that is. You're asking me to remember the name of an author. You the just name remembered of the author very specific names. Joy. Here's my We're question. We're talking about Here's strap. My question. You didn't answer my no, question. No, no, no. I'm going to. I'm going to answer. Great. Your question. I would love to hear that. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm interviewing you, and you're not interviewing me. So let's just make sure it's a conversation. Okay. Okay. Great. So. What I'm saying to you is that as you are not an expert in this book, I don't have in, to be an expert no, 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 to know that dildos aren't one appropriate moment, for public school. I mean, this come on, let's get real. This book is a full context story, as you said, of the author's experience. Why is it your right or a Moms for Liberty activist's right to say that a parent who wants their child to have access to this book, which gives a personal experience of this author, that they, the, why doesn't a liberal parent, for instance, or a parent of an LGBTQ kid, why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book? Why is it your right to say they can't? So, again, we're talking about incest, rape, and pedophilia. And Boy, each parent, no, Joy, each, hold one moment, moment. no, no, no. Each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer, I'm going to ask so you one more a, time. Right. What is your right to tell a parent who wants their child, who might feel seen by this story, why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say, my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have either been raped by a family member, they, they, they've they experienced um And your proof of that is what? You just said that What's if a child feels that? seen by this story. They, so they they what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, no, saying, Joy, You're now making assumptions no, about it. No, no, But if Let a child give you has an, been raped, we should do a lot better than put a book on a library shelf. Now you're literally shelf. creating a story behind a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. This is a form that can be obtained in Broward County, Florida. Okay. I'm going to show it to the audience, and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay. This is called Can the opt-out. Yeah, please, I'm going to okay, hand it to you. you so it's called the opt-out form. Okay. An opt-out form would allow any parent, because you said you are in favor of parental rights. I am. It would allow any parent to opt out of their child being able to take books out of the library without their parents' permission. Okay. So that Moms for Liberty, why not advocate that every school in America have an opt-out form so that a parent who doesn't want their child to access a book like All Boys Aren't Blue, right. that they can make that choice? Because then each parent, including a liberal parent, a black parent, a parent who wants their child to read a book about African-American history, then we they want get all, their We rights. want children to read books We Why not just opt history, out so. for yourself rather than tell other parents what they can and cannot? First, first have of all, I think what you're talking about here is a wonderful step in the right direction. Um, we should be having conversations about this. This is about local control. Mm -hmm. A lot of these decisions are made at, made at the local school board level. Mm -hmm. And that's where these decisions should be made. And there should be vibrant conversations sure. about what's happening in our public schools and what kids have access to. Joy, however, mm -hmm. maybe we could just put all the books with all the graphic sexual content. The dildos, You're not the just, rape, the I'm sorry. Let's do I'm a, so sorry. Let's do excuse a back me. Room. Excuse me. Let's excuse put me. a curtain excuse up me. in the library First of like all, they used hold to on. do. One moment. One stores. moment. Remember the when we were little and you would go to the video store? The books that moms for and they liberty. put those the books, books that moms for liberty with pornography the books that, behind the I know the that you I I've seen, we could just do that in I the public have seen library. tapes of does what moms for liberty does and you all go into school board meetings Joy, and you read graphic stuff genuine conversation no it's not there is a, there's America Je used to understand that there's something called age appropriate beloved, content uh, right and here's my we question again uh, again on movies. again again Ruby Bridges Goes to School is on the list of books that Moms for Liberty has attempted absolutely, to have removed. Absolutely it not. It absolutely is. Let me ask about the people who are making the decision for other parents, because you have not answered yet why a liberal parent or an African-American parent can't We have say parents my, who are Democrats no, 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 who are members of moment, our organization. But you're still trying to make decisions for all the kids. Here are some of the parents that are filing, uh, or some of the, the, the your advocates. Mm -hmm. Bridget Ziegler, 
the Moms for Liberty co-founder, the wife of the recently ousted Florida Republican Party chairman, Christian Ziegler, who allegedly was involved in threesomes, same-sex threesomes. Um, Mrs. Ziegler was, a, was removed from the school board at which she was a leader. Um, you've had she wasn't Lauren, removed well, from the school board. Okay, you have Lauren DePaula. Um, she was making book ban requests in Alachua County, but then records show that she and her husband didn't live there. They'd sold their home in that county. Carrie Blair in Tennessee, who was um, arrested for property theft charges after allegedly stealing from Target, skip scanning in Target. Why should those three people get to make decisions about what other children should be able to read? Other ch parents' children should be able to read. Do you know that I served as a school board member from 2016 to Are you going to answer my question? Yeah, I'm because going to. We don't to. have an endless time. Joy, I'm going to answer your your question, but mm -hmm. I need you to understand that when I was an elected representative, I would sit on that dais. Mm -hmm. And how dare I, sitting there as an elected representative, judge a parent when they would come to the podium to speak and advocate for their child? Because as we started this conversation, mm -hmm. we'll end it. Every parent has a fundamental and right so to direct parent, the upbringing of so children. Sure and I would not stand in a, judgment let us end on a point of agreement. about a parent's if education a parent, level, one moment, one their moment, sexual one orientation, if a parent, their race, their if religion. A parent, that is not what America is about. I'm going to answer. Mrs. I'm going to ask my question, yes, Ms. Justice. Mrs. Justice, that's Thank fine. you. If a parent believes that their child should be able to read Ruby Bridges... Uh, we child. believe that parents, okay. that children should be able to read. Then Bridget how Bridges. can She's Moms American for Hero. Liberty insist that the school board take that book away and then say that a parent who wants the child to be able to read it must purchase it? That's essentially putting a tax on parents who want their children to read the book. Your kids get to have books for free that you agree with, but children who want to read, or parents who want their children to read books you don't like, have to purchase it. That doesn't sound Joy, fair. did you know that in the city that we're sitting in, only a quarter of children are reading on grade level. That's a great grade. point. That's a great point. And so me, while we're having point. this conversation that's about books point. and libraries, that's two things point. should be happening. That's a great point. We should be talking about literacy rates and the fact that America's kids are not learning how to read, and we should be having vibrant conversations about what books should be in libraries. Absolutely.